if there's a spark of humanity in there, you've got to bring that spark out. And I thought I saw it, but I was wrong. A military veteran swindled for being a good Samaritan. Sharon Larson lives in Fairfield and says she was helping a homeless woman who repaid her by stealing her car. Larson, who used to be homeless herself, has no way to get around now and is pleading for her car's return. CBS 13's Angela Mosalem is live in Fairfield with this story. Angela? Yeah, guys, the Good Samaritan says she stopped, she spotted the homeless woman right behind me at that McDonald's. She says she felt bad for her and didn't want her to spend the night out in the cold, so she took her home. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do now if I can't get my car back. Sharon Larson says she was just trying to do the right thing and help a woman in need. She was at this McDonald's off West Texas Street in Fairfield Monday when she saw a homeless woman sitting outside. Man, it's so cold out, you know, and she just has, she doesn't have any winter clothes on. Larson says she invited the woman into her house for the night, but Larson's act of kindness was taken for granted. I went into the bathroom to change into my pajamas, and when I came out, she wasn't, sitting there. Larson searched her home for the woman and says she couldn't believe what she saw when she opened her door. I opened my door and I saw my backup lights on my car and I thought, oh my God, and she looked at me and I went, oh my God, she's taking my car. Larson says the woman sped off with her 2011 midnight blue Mazda SUV. She says that car was her lifeline. That's my pride and joy. That's my top and she took it. Larson knows what it's like to live on the streets. She was once homeless. Over the years, Larson says she's helped a handful of homeless men and women to pay it forward, but she never thought she'd get hurt in the process. I was just helping her. Why? Now, Larson's only way of getting around is by foot, a lesson learned the hard way that has Larson thinking twice. I don't know if I can help people again. Fairfield police are still looking for leads. Meantime, Larson is pleading for her car to be returned. Yeah, what a heartbreaking story. Such a nice lady. Real for her, absolutely. Angela, mm. thanks.